This is the pre-lab video for the experiment measuring calories, energy content of food. All human activity requires burning food for energy. How much energy is released when food burns in the body? How is the calorie content of food determined? It's through calorimetry. In this experiment, what we're going to determine is how many calories a typical size Cheeto has. Nutritionists and food scientists measure the calorie content of food by burning the food in a special device called a calorimeter. Our calorimeter is going to be a soda can. Calorimetry is the measurement of the amount of heat energy produced in a reaction. Calorimetry experiments are carried out by measuring the temperature change in water that is in contact with or surrounds the reactants and products. In a typical calorimetry experiment, the reaction of a known mass of reactant is carried out either directly or in or surrounded by a known quantity of water, and the temperature increase or de decrease in the water surroundings is measured. The temperature change, or delta T, produced in water is related to the amount of heat energy, Q, absorbed or released by the reaction system. We will be using the alternative procedure, which is the soda can calorimeter procedure steps. Start by placing a Cheeto on a food holder, and in our case, a food holder is a cork with a paper clip stuck into it. Measure and record the combined mass of the food holder and the sample. Then measure and record the mass of an empty soda can. Add approximately 50 milliliters of tap water to the can, and then measure and record the mass of the can and the water. Bend the top tab on the can up and slide a stir rod through the hole. Suspend the can on a tripod, as shown below, and then have the food holder and the food underneath of it. Underneath it. Insert a thermometer into the can and measure and record the initial temperature of the water. Light the Cheeto and center it under the soda can. Allow the water to be heated until the food sample stops burning. Record the maximum temperature of the water in the can, and that will be your final temperature. Measure and record the final mass of the food holder and sample, and then clean the bottom of the can and remove any food residue from the food holder. Repeat the process with a second Cheeto. Be sure to wipe down your lab table and then rinse off the outside of the can and return it to the box so that it can be reused for other classes. Follow the post-lab procedures as directed by your teacher. That's it. Enjoy!